Hello all, Jeff here with a new video. After doing all that Forza 7 Supercars Cup Series stuff, I decided to get back on the PlayStation and play some Gran Turismo Sport. Today, I'm checking out one of this week's weekly races, which is race A, one make, with the Volkswagen Scirocco Group 4 at Maggiore, one of the short circuits. So, qualified, and, you know, maybe up in the grid, fifth place. Look, there's only 10 cars, but I'm pretty sure it was either 10 or 12 that's maximum for the for the field in these daily races. But um, we're all using the same car. We'll see how we go here. Now with daily race A, we are doing standing starts. No clutch, so you just have to hold the brakes to make sure you don't false start like the guy in P2 did. But it looks like he just slows down so he doesn't get the penalty. Uh, you know, a fair bit going on because of him slowing down at the start we go on the turn one there's a fair bit of punting going on there's a lot of punting to be honest that's going to be a theme for this video look at this there's so so many people are punting each other questionable dive bombs as well anyway we go to this really really cool section now with this short circuit we don't go to the the high banked hairpin unfortunately shame because that's such a really cool corner we go to this real tight hairpin instead to take us back to the main straight and i've just broken way too late about five people have punted each other at the hairpin because you know the guy in front did break a bit early i copped a four second penalty i decided to serve it straight away p10 of 10 now we um go to lap five someone has quit so that that's their sportsmanship rating down the drain as i go up to p8 oh someone has just had a massive off he's caught the penalty as a result fifth place is on the grass it's all happening here just when i thought i was going to finish last guess what i'm in for a chance for fourth position the guys in the top three are pretty much bolted but you just never know what's going to happen. It's lap 8, you know, P4 and P5, but they both got penalties. And P4 is just smacked into the wall. That's P5 from myself. That's not too bad. And I'm right up there with P4. So we'll see what happens here. He's got a 4-tenth penalty. So, you know, it's not going to matter that much because you can just break hard and on a straight and you can just serve it just like that. However, I've got a bit of a run on him here. Um, can I do anything about it though? Now we go into the onto the main straight away. You know, with these one make series, there's no upgrades, no tuning. Well, I don't think you can even do that in Grand Turismo. There was a slight tap, but I make the move around the outside of turn one, P4, and I thought I was out of it after that four second penalty and going down the last place. But that's what happens when people battle with each other. You can just catch up. As we go to the last lap, last corner, you know, P4, look, I got, I was catching third and second, actually, but, you know, 10 laps on this really short track, P4, after everything that happened, not too bad at all, and the marshal decided, yeah, so there you go, four position, and the marshal wanted to shake my hand, he's like, yeah, look, mate, uh, we gave you the four second penalty for a reason, but. That was an awesome comeback, mate. Well done. And yeah, I was very appreciative of that. Good on you, Marshall. Anyway, so next race I decided to you know, do some more qualifying, see if I can get a half-decent time around this track. At the moment, my fastest time is 48.3. Uh, but yeah, this was the end of the lap. This is the quickest qualifying lap I've done now. With these series, if you the daily races, if you're using the car, same car the time the quickest time you set is you know the qualifying time for each race you do anyway 47 9 in the 47s which is a good thing so we'll see where that puts me on the grid well that has put me at p position number two so you know that's very good however i've been disconnected so i went to so I had to wait another 20 minutes for the next race. Didn't improve my time, but position four I'm going to start at. We'll see how we go. Again, the standing starts. Just don't rev it. I mean, you can use traction control to your advantage. P2 just started a bit early. 
spot the other guy, slow him down to make sure he doesn't cop the penalty. And that's just gifted me position number three. As a couple guys are just trying to punt each other off the track as they do. But hold on the third, which is the main thing. And this guy in the orange Scirocco, he's lagging a little bit. But we'll just see what happens. I think first position had a like a one-tenth penalty, but just served it just because he slowed down slightly. But as you can see, P2 is just all over the joint here. I think about making the move. Well, I've broken way too late, and he's going to grab third position again. And four, and I'll get on the grass, and the guy in fourth is going to catch up right up behind me now. So he's got the chance to get to get grab third position here. So, and he's got the momentum. So that's third position he's got now. So that's unfortunate what happened there. I decided to go for the move at turn one. There's a slight tap, but I'll try and get the cutback done. And I got, yep, there's the cutback. He gets on the grass a little, and I'm back in position number three. Anyway, lap seven. So first place, he's, he's, you know, he's a couple of seconds ahead of position two. But then again, if you make a slight mistake, you can, you can just catch straight up back to him. So position two, he's, he's hit the grass two corners in a row. That's going to give me the opportunity to grab second place. Do I get it? Yes, I do. That's not bad at all. So, yeah, I was proud of that. But um, it was just a quick question of whether I could catch the leader or not. But in the end, it was the, the, the distance was pretty much the same over the last three laps. We were, we were both very consistent, but a nice win for him. But I ended up getting second. I wish I'd won that race, but what can you do when you keep getting punted at turn one? But, yeah not too bad so yeah he can celebrate a little and fastest lap of the race and a clean race as well so that's gonna that's gonna boost my sportsmanship rating which is what you really need in GT Sport if you want to race against the better guys last race I'll show you this guy here Camezo 1970 he was a bit of a problem in this race and you'll see why later on anyway I've got traction control on, I don't know why it was on, but it did help with the um, launch. Turn it straight off after that, because you don't need it for the rest of the race. And I'll get punted by someone else. That's always going to happen. It wasn't the guy that I showcased before the start of the race, but... No, that was a theme for this race, and for the first race. There was plenty of hunting and questionable dive bombs happening. And there he is! Gives me a little punt. And for some reason, he doesn't cop a penalty for it, and I've lost sportsmanship rating. Ow. Anyway, the punter. What's he going to do here? Is he going to go for the punt? What do you think? Yep, he's gone for the punt. But it didn't work, because the guy in second is still in second place. However, the, you know, Mr. Punterino is still right behind him. Is he going to, is he going to make the move stick? He's going to try here at turn one. Second place goes a bit wide. Yep, there he goes. I give him a bit of a tap, maybe for revenge for the race before, for the previous lap. But that was, to be honest, that was a mistake from my, from my part. No penalties for any of us. Well, the guy in second did cop a penalty mainly because he ran wide at turn one, and he's gone wide again, and that's going to give give me second place. So, can I hold on to it? Oh, it's going to be close. Yes, I keep second place here. So, yeah, lap 6 of 10. First place is bolted. The only way I'm going to catch up, catch up to him now is if he, um, he makes a mistake, which could happen, especially on this track. Because, you know, the 100 boy is your braking marker. However, this guy has gone, gone under the brakes a lot better than I have. And he's going to grab second place back from me. However, Mr. Punterino behind me. Oh, mate. What do you think he's going to do? Well, I think you know what he's going to do. Turn one. He is going to give me the punt. And just pushing me off the track for some reason. And he's copped a two-second penalty. And deservedly so. Anyway. He's right up behind second place now, so, you know, you really, and we go lap nine, 
We've got a back marker. He's ghosted. Take note, turn 10. The guy in P1 has made a bit of a mistake because look how close second and third are. He's going for the punt again and he's in the second place. You've got a two second penalty, mate. How, how are you going to expect to keep that position when you've got a two second penalty? Anyway, we start the last lap. So, the leader. He's, he's under pressure a little bit. So, here we go. Turn one, you know, as long as you've got two wheels on the curb on Gran Turismo, no penalties. So, you know, track limits on Gran Turismo, you can abuse them unlike Forza these days. Anyway, I'm right behind third place. I'm going to think about making the move here. However, the guy in second, just look at the move he, he tries to, to go for at the hairpin. He's gonna give him the punt. I go for the massive dive bomb, but it didn't. I couldn't fall off. The, the punter is in the lead, but, but he's got the two second penalty. I can't see the point of him doing that. Yeah, he's gonna cross the line first, but guess what? You've got a two second penalty, mate, so you're not gonna win it. So the guy that what? Oh! So, yeah, the other blue guy ended up. Um, Sorry, it was the um the the guy in the white Scirocco that won. Then it was the 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 blue guy that punted me at lap one, and then third place was the guy that was punting everyone for pretty much the whole race. And unfortunately, my failed dive bomb meant that I was in fourth position. But yeah, I wish I could have got the win in one of those. But I'll keep trying this week. See how I go have a crack at some of the other daily races because um the other daily races are really cool anyway if you like the video smash the thumbs up button leave a comment let me know what you think subscribe if you like and tap the notification bell anyway this is jeff here and happy racing cheers